Did you know that up to 95% of the total animal biomass on Earth lives in the ocean? Join us on an exciting journey through the fascinating world of advanced submersibles and the secrets of the deep ocean. Watch and find out. How deep can a human dive without protection? Which modern mini submarines are the most technologically advanced? Who can dive deeper? The best free divers or modern mini submarines for one million dollars? What are the strangest deep sea creatures we've recently discovered? Why did the expedition to the Titanic fail? And most likely you will also be interested to know where is the deepest point on the planet actually located? Under the waves or on land? So let's dive and explore. Our descent begins from the sunlit zone, which extends to a depth of 200 meters. Here, 90% of marine life diversity is concentrated. Here is, and the largest variety of submersibles. You can explore the diversity of underwater life and the beauty of coral reefs, even in semi-submersible boats. For example, such an unusual boat costs from $25,000 to 40 k and, when launched in a scenic spot, can keep you engaged for hours. There's also an option of entering the water from the shore on a unique amphibious vehicle, but that comes at a cost of $300,000. Semi-submersion is quite enough to convey the underwater world's atmosphere, and the proximity to the surface eliminates any safety concerns. Let's pass on the options involving masks and breathing tubes, even though they can be quite intriguing. Instead, we'll focus on diving choices that need no prior training, even suitable for a child. A simple solution for a long personal dive offers seat rec. This helmet uses an air hose to supply breath. The air comes from a tank or systems like hookah, a surface floating compressor that can run over three hours on battery power. Another option is a backpack with a tank, allowing autonomous hourly walks along the ocean floor. These trips are available across many places globally, priced between $60 to $150. Greater freedom comes with a gadget like the Spymaster. Depending on the brand, such a wet submarine will cost you from $12,000 to $25,000 for a two-seater model. It lets you venture 10 meters deep over an 80-minute excursion, gliding at a speed of three kilometers per hour. Just drop the machine into the water and you can enjoy a prime spot for spearfishing. This device lacks a vertical maneuverability, so it's wise to stay tethered to a buoy. If you're looking for a cost-effective and cozy way to explore the depths without getting wet, consider tourist submarines. Since 1986, the Canadian company Atlantis has built 10 submarines that have carried 17 million tourists. These air-conditioned, battery-driven subs accommodate up to 46 passengers, can dive to 50 meters and reach speeds of up to five kilometers per hour. A 45-minute tour will cost around $150. The US-based company Triton built DeepView Submarine in 2019, setting a new standard. Its acrylic body offers an extraordinary view. With a modular design, versions for 24 to 66 passengers are possible. Fully electric sub dives 100 meters deep, runs up to 14 hours, and speeds at six kilometers per hour. While the only one of its kind, built for a hotel, it was stalled for three years due to COVID restrictions. But now, it conducts brief 30-minute tours in Vietnam for affordable $50, although the submarine itself costs about $8 million. Unique submarines are manufactured by US company Deep Flight. Their Super Falcon mimics a fighter aircraft, not only in appearance, but also in the ability to maneuver, such as moving upside down. An interesting feature is that you can control the vessel from any individual cabin. Their Dragon model resembles a Formula One car. These submarines have positive buoyancy, which ensures safe surfacing in emergencies, though it requires extra energy for staying submerged. Unlike other submarines, which use water-flooded tanks for diving, Deep Flight uses motors and wings to descent. 
and this is enough to be able to dive to a depth of 100 meters and stay there for up to eight hours. The Super Falcon is also the fastest sub on our list, reaching speeds of up to 11 kilometers per hour. Prices start at one and a half million dollars. Compact submarine Nemo will cost half as much. The Dutch company U-Boat Works set up small-scale production of this engineering marvel and redefined affordability by bringing the price below $1 million, unprecedented feat in this class of vehicles. But here's the twist. If you're eager to enhance your sub with features like extra lighting, sonar, manipulator arm, underwater navigation, 4K camera, and visual package, you might tip the scale to that million dollar mark. And guess what? The company's got your back with launch solutions for every taste and budget. Air-conditioned luxury submarine offers a breathtaking view through its acrylic sphere, granting you the ability to hover at a depth of 100 meters for a full eight hours. And steering this wonder is as easy as playing with a joystick on a console. Nemo is probably number one today among private subs for the Sunlight Zone. But what's the problem with diving deeper? <laughs> Pressure. It was just a vacuum inside and one atmosphere outside. And under the water, the pressure increases by one bar every 10 meters. Meaning, at 100 meters, the water pressure reaches 10 atmospheres. With one bar representing atmospheric pressure at the water's surface, gives us an absolute pressure of 11 atmospheres. And if you think that we are already far beyond the ability of human immersion, you'd be mistaken. The record for diving in one breath using only a monofin is 133 meters. With added weights for rapid descent and an airbag for ascent, depths of over 200 meters have been reached, surpassing the Nemo submarine's capacity by twice. And the record for scuba diving is 332 meters. Remarkably, if the descent took 14 minutes, a lengthy 14-hour ascent was necessary to prevent decompression sickness. It took a huge bunch of cylinders with specialized gas mixture. However, if we want to answer the question of how much pressure the human body can withstand, then it's incredible to discover that the deepest recorded dive took place back in 1988 using the saturation diving technique. A team of French divers descended to a staggering 534 meters and spent six days working there. It's deeper than the blue whale's maximum diving depth. Today, for such a work, a special exosuit is used which costs about $800,000. Yet, this was not enough for the French explorers, and in 1992, they undertook another ambitious endeavor. On land, at the Institute, in a specialized capsule, they subjected a person to pressure test, equivalent to a depth of 700 meters. After the experiment, the subject needed to spend another 24 days in capsule for decompression. And we embark on a comfortable descent into the twilight zone, which extends up to 1,000 meters. This depth is also the diving limit for military submarines and dolphins. After 200 meters, there is not enough sunlight for photosynthesis and life's vibrancy begins to fade. Animals here depend on what falls from the more productive upper layers. Endless emptiness is filled with organic materials known as marine snow. These depths are home to the living fossil, vampire squid, which opens its umbrella to catch what falls from above, such as dead fish or poop. Don't judge, he was here 300 million years ago, so he knows what he's doing. In Twilight Zone lives the world's longest fish, giant oarfish, reaching lengths of 10 meters. Very weird barrelly fish or spook fish has tubular eyes, which are generally directed upwards through a transparent dome. The largest species of the penguins and sea turtles can dive into these depths. You can also find a wide variety of jellyfish here, including luminescent ones. To reach these depths, there is still a large choice of submarines among three main manufacturers, U-Boat Works, Triton, and Sea Megan. However, prices will start from two and a half million dollars. For example, for the basic version of Super Yacht Sub from U-Boat Works, which only allows you to dive to a depth of 300 meters. 
With additions, the submarine will cost 3 million. It has endurance up to 12 hours, plus 96 hour life support reserves for three occupants. Among the safety systems, there are also positive buoyancy and independent diving tanks, hydraulic drop weight system, automatically resurface system and safety buoy to mark the position of the submarine. You can dive deeper in elegant Aurora sub from Seamagine. The basic version with a diving depth of up to 460 meters will cost three and a half million dollars. There is also an option for 1,000 meters. Submarines of this class require a skilled pilot to operate, but there are still two passenger seats left. Autonomy is 14 hours. The crew sub from U-Boat Works can dive deeper and accommodate more passengers. This multi-purpose luxury submersibles have the most spacious interior volume and can accommodate for up to 11 persons. It has a unique double-ended viewport design with rotating chairs to any direction. Versions with maximum diving depths from 200 to 1700 meters are available, with endurance for a long 18 hours. But in its top version, the weight reaches an impressive 16 tons, which is equivalent to the weight of a loaded truck. This significantly reduces the range of yachts capable of servicing such a submarine. Prices start from three and a half million dollars and it is the best-selling private submarine. However, fewer than 20 units have been built since 2018. And we continue our dive. We are now in the midnight zone, which extends to a depth of 4,000 meters. Not a single photon penetrates below 1,000 meters. It's pitch black here. The only source of light is animal bioluminescence. A famous example is the anglerfish, which uses the glow as a bait for hunting. But in fact, its flat head reveals that it isn't built for high-speed pursuits. At these depths, life moves to a very slow rhythm. There is very little oxygen and food here, and animals know how to wait. Slow metabolism and energy conservation are one of the adaptations of the local inhabitants allowing animals to survive for months without food. This is a tranquil alien world of beautiful and varied jellyfish and siphonophores. Many of them have bioluminescent abilities, and quite a few of them are deadly poisonous. They are capable of not only being in the midnight zone, but also floating to the surface. No way could we name a tenth of them. Thanks to deep-sea vehicles, Thousands of new species have been discovered in recent years. An unexpectedly rich source of food at depths of two, three kilometers are black smokers. These are hydrothermal vents containing a third of the periodic table. The basis is made up of sulfur compounds that erupt from the Earth's depths at a temperatures of three to four hundred degrees Celsius. Special bacteria break down these compounds, initiating a food chain that sustains worms, mollusks and crabs, eventually forming a separate ecosystem to which octopuses and fish swim. Maybe life originated in such locations for the very first time on our planet. Such large mammals as Cuvier's beaked whale and southern elephant seal are capable of swimming to these depths. This is where the strange pelican eel lives, whose ability to open its mouth wide would be the envy of any snake, even the pelican itself. Here you can find terrible Pacific viperfish as well as deep-sea chimeras, contemporaries of dinosaurs. These depths are also notable for housing the wreckage of the Titanic, a site that has been the focus of numerous expeditions. But comfortable submarines with luxurious acrylic capsules do not venture to these depths, or at least they do not rise after. To conquer these depths, you need to protect yourself with a steel or titanium sphere with much more modest viewing capabilities. But the Triton Company has developed the world's deepest diving acrylic sub, Abyssal Explorer. Futuristic design with gullwing has a promised maximum diving depth of 4,000 meters, and although there is no visual evidence yet of the claimed capabilities, this company can be trusted because it has built the most advanced submarine in the world, which will be shown later. On the contrary, the Titan Bathyscaphe will not regain trust. Frequently mentioned in summer 2023, OceanGate Company has made a number of design mistakes. First of all, the question is about the shape of their Bathyscaphe. 
The choice of the spherical shape by all other manufacturers, despite the difficulty to manufacture, was made because the spheres distribute pressure evenly, ensuring structural integrity. Titan, on the other hand, had weak points at the ends of the cylindrical body, ultimately leading to its demise in the depths of the Atlantic Ocean. Another area of concerns relates to the choice of materials. The insufficient strength of the cylindrical titanium body had to be compensated by carbon composite covering. However, this composite material excels in resisting stretching, but lacks a track record of enduring repeated pressure, making its behavior under extreme conditions unpredictable. It likely accumulated micro-damage during prior dives until it reached a critical threshold. Nevertheless, the Bathyscapha Titan made several successful dives before its fateful encounter with the Titanic. And we are going deeper into the abyssal zone. There is very little diversity in the animal world here, but we can note such huge species as giant phantom jelly, reaching 10 meters in length, and the hero of many myths, colossal squid, up to 13 meters long and weighing one ton. However, so far no one has managed to capture this mystical animal in its habitat, only its slightly less impressive relative, the giant squid. These depths are more interesting because they reach the ocean floor, located around 6,000 meters deep. It's where you'll find the intercontinental communication cables that power internet and YouTube in particular. And perhaps this same video you are still watching, so maybe it's time to hit that like button. Similar to outer space, powerful nations strives to reach this realm. Deep submergence vehicles that reach these depths cannot simply be loaded onto a yacht and lowered in the right place. Moreover, they are not capable of leaving the port on their own. These are complex scientific projects worth tens of millions of dollars. Even their maintenance cannot be done without a team of a couple of dozen people and a large support vessel, the mothership. Although it is much easier to send unmanned vehicles for research with comparable results of expeditions, Sending a person to the bottom is a separate task associated with technical innovation and the excitement of both new discoveries and survival. The longest lived project is the American manned vehicle Alvin, which made its first dive in 1966 and is still in service, having completed more than 5,000 dives during this time. Initially designed for a depth of 2,400 meters, the Bathyscaphe was rebuilt almost from scratch several times expanding its capabilities. And in 1986, Alvin made his first dive to the Titanic. Relatively recent improvements to the Alvin apparatus, costing $8 million, made it possible to increase the diving depth from 4,500 meters to 6,500. Here is a visual map showing how much this expands the geography of reaching the bottom. 98% of the world's oceans have become accessible to Alvin. Today, it is a modern three-seat deep submergence vehicle with an operating autonomy of up to 10 hours. We have reached our final destination, Hadal Zone and the Mariana Trench. At a depth of 7,000 meters, you can still find a cute octopus, Dumbo, and at 8,200, the deepest of fish, Mariana snailfish. Here you can also find sea stars and feather stars. At the bottom of the Mariana Trench, there is also life. In addition to microbes, these are amoebas and worms, sea cucumbers and amphipods or shrimps. Contrary to popular belief, the Mariana Trench isn't a small dot on the map. This is a huge gorge 70 kilometers wide and 2,600 kilometers long, which has several of its deepest places. The deepest is Challenger Deep located at a distance of 11,000 meters from sea level, although the measurement error is about 40 meters. Only three manned bathyscaphs descended to its bottom, and you will be surprised to know that the first descent took place back in 1960 on the two-seater bathyscaph Trieste, built in Italy. Swiss Jacques Picard, son and assistant of the creator of the bathyscaph, and Don Walsh, and an American military man dived to approximately 10,920 meters in under five hours and stayed at the bottom for 20 minutes, discovering life there for the first time, something previously considered extremely unlikely or impossible. 
The second dive was in 2012, 52 years later. This was a solo dive by explorer and famous director James Cameron, creator of the Titanic film. He commissioned the Deep Sea Challenger, which was built in Australia, in eight years and for $10 million. Cameron reached the bottom in two and a half hours and stayed there for three hours. Like Trieste, Deep Sea Challenger went to the bottom only once. Extreme pressure of a staggering 1,100 atmospheres and temperatures close to zero constantly disabled the equipment. Two Challenger's dives were cancelled due to breakdowns, and the successful descent to the bottom of the Mariana Trench did not go smoothly. The sonar malfunctioned, the hydraulic fluid of the manipulator leaked, and some of the engines failed, and the Bathyscaph Trieste had a cracked viewing glass. The fourth person to go to the bottom of the Mariana Trench was the American explorer and businessman Victor Vescovo in deep submergence vehicle designed for intensive use. The project was implemented by Triton Company. DSV limiting factor, or Triton 36000, is based on titanium pressure hull, tested at pressure equivalent to a 14 kilometers dive. Two-seater submersible descends into the Challenger Deep in two and a half hours and is capable of staying underwater for 16 hours. Moreover, it can do this dives at intervals under 12 hours for maintenance. It became the first and so far the only submersible in the world capable of repeated dives to the full ocean depth. The project includes a dedicated research vessel, pressure drop, as well as three unmanned landers that can be lowered along with the DSV to expand its capabilities. The entire project, including Mothership, cost the investor about $40 million. Victor Viscovo himself descended to Challenger twice looked into the neighboring deeps of the Mariana Trench and visited the deepest points of all five of the world's oceans. Excursions to the bottom of the Mariana Trench were available at a cost of $750,000 for three dives. And more than 20 dives into the Challenger Deep were made. The project was sold for $48 million. And now the DSV limiting factor is involved in constructing a detailed map of the bottom of the world's oceans which is still very poorly studied. Surprisingly, we know more about the surface of Mars than about the depths of our own planet and its inhabitants, and it is quite possible to find an even deeper trench than Challenger Deep. But is the Challenger Deep really the deepest point on the planet? It depends on how we pose the question. If we dig a 12-kilometer deep mine from the top of Mount Everest, will it be deeper than the bottom of the Mariana Trench? Hmm? Maybe. And on the island of Sakhalin in Russia, there is an oil well that goes 15 kilometers deep into the Earth's crust. But it is almost parallel to the surface and approaches the center of the Earth only one kilometer. Is this the deepest point on the planet? Maybe. But you can fairly note that Challenger Deep is still closer to the center of the Earth and therefore deeper. So if we are interested in what is the closest point to the center of the Earth, then Challenger Deep is far from the deepest place on the planet. By reaching the North Pole by ship, you'll actually be seven kilometers closer to the center of the Earth while on the water's surface than you would be at the bottom of the Challenger Deep. What? What the f This is due to the ellipsoid shape of our planet. The difference between the smallest and largest radius of our planet at sea level is about 21 kilometers. At a Mariana Trench latitude of 11 degrees, the distance from the center of the planet to the bottom of the Challenger will be approximately 6,364 kilometers. And from the center of the Earth to the surface of the ocean at the North Pole is 6,357 kilometers. Plus, you can still go down four kilometers to the bottom of the ocean. But this still will not be the closest point to the center of the planet accessible for observation. Almost there! There is a super deep Kola well, located not so far from the North Pole at a latitude of 69 degrees. Its drilling lasted 20 years during the USSR as part of a scientific project and ended due to technical difficulties. It was possible to drill down 12 kilometers where the temperature was 220 degrees Celsius. 
The bottom of the Kola Superdeep is about three kilometers closer to the center of the Earth than the ocean floor at the North Pole. Who can, please, recalculate in the comments more precisely. By the way, because of this very equatorial bulge of the planet, the top of Mount Everest is not the farthest point from the center of the Earth. But this is a completely different story.